Ruby on Rails, a server-side web framework made for the Ruby programming language. It was created in 2004 and is mainly used to build websites. You can create and manage databases, build web pages, and manage it all in the backend. This is known as Model View Controller. It also makes use of reusable code called gems. Usually, how web frameworks like Ruby on Rails work is by implementing the programming language into HTML and CSS. Not only does this shorten development time, but it makes building websites a lot easier. Well-known platforms who use Ruby on Rails are Crunchbase, GitHub, Twitch, and Airbnb. ASP.NET, a web framework that allows you to create websites using the C Sharp programming language. It allows you to create what are known as CRUD apps, which stands for Create, Read, Update, and Delete. It was created by Microsoft over 20 years ago, and like Ruby on Rails, it uses a model, view, controller design. The .NET platform is used to create many types of software, such as desktop applications, mobile apps, games, but ASP.NET is specifically used for websites. Although I said the .NET framework usually uses C Sharp, it can actually use other programming languages, such as Ruby, Python, C++, and Java. Vapor. Vapor is a web framework made in Swift. It's a framework mainly used by iOS developers. It allows you to build the backend of your website and APIs. This allows for the front end or the part of the website that the user interacts with to communicate with the back end, which is the part of the website that stores and manages data. Django. Django is a web framework created in the language of Python. It does a lot of the things that Ruby on Rails does, except it's in Python. It allows you to create and manage databases called models, design websites called views, and create a controller which manages everything, such as how the data is managed or how to route web pages. Flask. Flask is a web framework also made in Python. Hmm. So what's the difference between Django and Flask? Django is known as a high-level full-stack web framework, which basically means you have everything you need to create a website start to finish from scratch. Managing databases, an admin panel, authentication. Flask doesn't come with all the bells and whistles that Django does. However, it's a lot more beginner friendly and you can create small websites a lot faster. Don't be mistaken though, you can create websites that are just as big and just as robust as Django. However, with Flask, it will be a steeper learning curve. Phoenix, a web framework made in the Elixir programming language. It's mostly used to build the backend and has a model view controller design just like other frameworks. Phoenix is often used with a library called Phoenix Live View. But what is Phoenix Live View? In the past, when something on a web page would update, the entire web page would have to reload just to update one little thing on the screen. This issue was soon solved by using asynchronous JavaScript so that only that section had to be reloaded and not the entire web page. Later solutions involved sending JSON documents back and forth between the web page and the web server. There are developers who found this a little too clunky. This is where LiveView comes in. LiveView works by keeping a constant connection between the web page and the web server so that when anything updates on the web page, that change is made quickly to the server and then sent back to the web page. And none of this would require any JavaScript or sending back documents. This allows web pages to run and update a lot faster. Laravel. Laravel is a web framework made in the PHP language. It comes with its own command line tool called Artisan. It also comes with a feature called Blade, which allows you to make use of reusable HTML and PHP code called Blade Template. This makes the code in your actual web page more concise and easier to develop. Next.js. Next.js is a web development framework often used with another web framework called React. Next is a framework that solves the problem of poor search engine optimization. It's also made to make your website in general a whole lot faster. It does this by rendering the web page on the server before sending it out to the end user. It also makes images load smoothly and makes static builds of your web page so it can run a lot faster. Astro. This is a web framework that allows you to build with multiple other web frameworks, but the main use of Astro is that it allows you to only use JavaScript on your web page when needed. One important aspect of web development is making sure a website runs fast. However, the more JavaScript that is used on a web page, the slower it runs. But JavaScript makes for more robust and interactive websites, also coupled with the fact that the most popular web frameworks are JavaScript heavy. How Astro deals with this issue is that it only renders HTML to the user and only uses JavaScript as needed, such as when the user interacts with the web page thus making it good for website performance, SEO, and user experience.
experience. Spring Boot Spring Boot is a framework for the Java programming language. It can be used to build web applications, but it can also be used to build stuff on Android and iOS. Spring Boot is a framework that mostly handles the backend, so the servers and databases. Spring Boot is an offshoot of the Spring framework. Express.js Express is a backend framework used to create APIs. API stands for Application Programming Interface. It basically allows programs of different kinds to interact with each other. To explain it more simply, imagine you're at a restaurant and you want to order food, but you don't go all the way back to the kitchen to tell the chef directly what you want to eat. Instead, you talk to a waiter that takes your order. Then, that waiter relays that information back to the chef. In this example, you are like a computer program, the kitchen is another computer program, and the waiter is the API. Have you ever logged in with your Google account into another website? Yeah, that's an API. Rocket. Rocket is a web framework for the Rust programming language. Normally, languages like Rust aren't really good for web development. However, ever since the advent of WebAssembly, developing in Rust has become possible. Ktor. Ktor is a web framework for the Kotlin programming language. It's an alternative for Java developers in case they don't like the Spring framework. Fast API, a framework for building APIs in the Python language. Nest.js, a server-side web framework that uses the TypeScript language. It's actually a framework for a JavaScript runtime environment called Node.js. It has a similar model view controller design like other frameworks. It allows you to handle the security of your website, manage databases, and anything else server-side. GIN, a web framework for the Golang programming language. Like other frameworks, it allows you to build APIs and handle the backend of websites. React, a web framework using the JavaScript language. But it can also be used with TypeScript as well. React is one of the most popular web frameworks in the world. It is a web framework mainly used for building the front end or user interface of a website. It works by making use of reusable code called React Component. It makes building websites a lot easier and quicker. The reusable code is in a format called JSX, which basically looks like if HTML and JavaScript had a baby. It was made by Facebook and released in 2013. It also has a mobile version called React Native, which allows you to create cross-platform mobile apps. Vue.js, a web framework much like React, allows you to create user interfaces with JavaScript. Also like React, it allows you to make reusable code called component. Both React and Vue use something called a virtual DOM, which basically means every time the page updates, it just updates that section of the page instead of reloading the entire website. Vue is not as popular as React though, so there might not be as many third-party support for it. Although, Vue tends to be a little bit faster at rendering web pages than React. Angular, a JavaScript and TypeScript web framework made by Google. Like both React and Vue, it makes use of components. Angular is ideal for a large enterprise-level applications with complex needs. You can build a website from start to finish in Angular. This is an advantage over other frameworks like React, where you need to use third-party libraries to expand its functionality. Svelte, a web framework that uses JavaScript. Gee, that's a lot of JavaScript web frameworks. Yeah, it's kind of a meme that a new JavaScript web framework comes out every other day. Here's a snapshot of just a few of them, and if I listed out every single one, this video would be hours long. And mostly, I'd be repeating myself a lot. And like the other frameworks, it makes use of components. However, the main difference between Svelte and the other frameworks is how the page renders. Frameworks like React and Vue use a virtual DOM to render the web page. Svelte instead uses a compiler. This results in smaller file sizes and faster performance. JamPy JamPy is a JavaScript and Python web framework for building database applications. It's mostly meant for database-driven businesses, and it's known for being a low or no-code framework. Fastify Fastify is a framework for Node.js. It's used for backend servers and APIs, and, like the name, it's designed for faster performance. CakePHP, a framework inspired by Ruby on Rails but designed for PHP. It's a backend framework that uses the model view controller design. People mostly like it for its simplicity, and it's mainly used to design small applications. Catalyst, a web framework for the Perl programming language. Coldbox, a web framework for the Cold Fusion language. It makes use of reusable code called Codebox modules. It may sound shocking, but several companies still to this day use Cold Fusion. Here's a list of them. WebKit, a web framework for C++. It's sometimes called Witty. People like Witty because C++ tends to be fast compared to other programming languages, although it's not as beginner-friendly to learn. Witty is known as a server-side framework and used to make APIs. Yesid, a web framework for the Haskell programming language. It's a web framework that makes use of functional programs
programming rather than object-oriented programming. Remix. Yes, I know, another JavaScript web framework. But I feel like I should mention this one because of its popularity and it's one of the newer web frameworks released in 2020. Its main selling point is that it's fast due to the fact that it renders pages server-side and it's best used in websites that have a lot of web pages. It kind of serves as the alternative to Next.js. Remix was also recently bought out by Spotify. Grails. It's a framework for the Apache Groovy programming language. It's also known as Groovy on Rails, and it's integrated with the Java platform. Lyft, a framework for the Scala programming language. It's also inspired by Ruby on Rails. Solid. Okay, last one. Okay, last JavaScript framework, I promise. As it is standard with many JavaScript frameworks, it uses reusable code called components. But just like Svelte, instead of using a virtual DOM, it uses a compiler that converts your code into plain JavaScript. It's also known as being more lightweight than other frameworks. Bootstrap, a web framework for the CSS language. CSS is the language responsible for the design and beautification of websites. Bootstrap already comes with pre-made components, buttons, grids, and layouts. However, they are customizable. Bootstrap also lets you add optional JavaScript functionality. Tailwind, another web framework for CSS. However, unlike Bootstrap, it doesn't come with pre-made components out of the box. Instead, it comes with pre-made classes, which you can add to HTML elements. This makes it a lot more customizable than Bootstrap. Although, Tailwind might have a steeper learning curve, and a common complaint is that the CSS classes can get quite long. Flutter, a framework for the Dart programming language. Although Flutter can be used as a web framework, it's also used for developing iOS, Android, and desktop apps. Flutter comes with pre-made components called widgets, which especially helps when building mobile apps. Flutter also compiles to machine code, therefore making anything you build in Flutter very fast. Be sure to share this video and thanks for watching.